Okay, this is something that I wanted to do. Um, the very first Sterling engine that I built was using these Coke cans, and there's a ton of videos on how to make a Sterling engine using Coke cans, and I wanted to see if I could make one that would work on a coffee maker. You know, this is the, the coffee maker. And uh, it was not easy. It was hard to get something like this to run on a coffee maker versus ice and get the design so that... Uh, I could get that thing to work there that I used that project there to develop was this diaphragm, the correct diaphragm for a, basically a low temperature differential sterling. But anyway, that's, um, that's running on the coffee maker. And that's kind of the gold standard of what I've been working on is, is staying away from an open flame and trying to make something work on something that's not really, really hot. I tried to run this yesterday when I was developing it on the stove and it started burning and made a terrible smell so that was the end of that project for the day until I figured out a way to make this work on the coffee maker which the temperature is low enough so it doesn't make any odor but yeah I've, the way this is built you can put the ice down in there and it's just a pinhole that the 30 gauge magnet wire runs through and if you make the hole small enough there's not enough leakage down there to keep it from running and then if you run the engine just long enough so that that doesn't fill up to the hole with the cold water then it'll run for a little while so you can run your experiment but anyway this was a success finally it's I'm calling this the stubby sterling because it's short normally they make them with a full length can but to get it in the coffee maker I had to make this short and it's got the foam displacer inside the sponge that goes up and down and that's the uh, stubby sterling. Thanks for watching.